In this video, we're going over how to mirror your Samsung Galaxy A13 to your TV. Welcome back to another video. I'm your tech guy, Wayne. And in the video today, I wanna to show you how to mirror your Samsung Galaxy screen to your TV. Now, uh, I'm gonna show you how to do this on multiple devices. So we're gonna go over this if you have a Chromecast, a Roku, a Fire Stick TV, or a Smart TV. I'm gonna show you how to do it on all these different devices. The video will be broken down into sections, so feel free to just fast forward to the section that is relevant to the device that you have. Now, I'm gonna show how to uh, play a video from your phone to your TV using each one of those devices. And then I will also show how to mirror your screen. And so when you mirror, it's showing everything that's on your phone. For example, if you're playing a game, it'll show the entire game uh, on the TV. Or if you're trying to demonstrate a process of how to do something on your phone, it will completely show everything that's happening on your phone on the TV. Now for the mirroring, that is only available using the Chromecast, but in terms of sending a video from your phone to the TV, you can do that with any one of those four devices I've mentioned. So um, just wanna give you a kind of a brief overview of what the video is gonna cover. And let's go ahead and jump in, and we're gonna start with the Chromecast. Okay, so if you have a Chromecast, here's what you need first to make this work. So you will need uh, an HD TV with an HDMI connection. Second, you will need a Chromecast device. And third, you will need home Wi-Fi for this. Um, the Chromecast connects to a Wi-Fi network and on the phone, we're gonna make sure we are on Wi-Fi because we're gonna have to connect to that device using Wi-Fi. So uh, one important thing to note, all the processes won't need Wi-Fi, but for this particular, um, using the Chromecast, you will need Wi-Fi. So FYI for that. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive into the process, how we get started. So first on your phone, make sure you swipe down from the top and just confirm that you are connected, your Wi-Fi is turned on and you are connected to it. So as you can see, my Wi-Fi icon is blue. That means my Wi-Fi is on and you should see a Wi-Fi icon in the corner that tells you you're connected to your Wi-Fi network. That's the first thing. Next, we're gonna go to the Play Store and we're gonna do a search for the app Google Home. And I have it up right here. I've already installed it. I'm just gonna tap the open button to walk us through the setup and get us to the process of mirroring. So first I'm gonna show you how to mirror which is, again, mirroring is showing everything that's happening on your phone on the TV, and then after I will show just playing a video from your phone to the TV. So here, I'm gonna hit the Get Started button, um, press OK. You will need to be signed into a Google account, so just, uh, if you're not installed, if you're not signed to a Google account, go ahead and sign into that. We're gonna hit Next here. You're gonna uh, allow device location. I'm gonna hit only this time because it needs that for the initial setup. And let's see, let's go ahead and skip this, not important. Okay, so now that we're on the main screen here, I'm gonna slide the phone over so we can get ready to mirror our screen. Let's put the phone right there. Next, we're going to swipe up where it says other cast devices and I'm gonna tap on Chromecast and my Chromecast is named Chromecast 6871. Tap here and at the bottom of the screen, it'll say cast my screen. Tap on there, press cast screen, start now. And you can see now we are connected and anything I do on the phone is going to be mirrored to the TV. So I'm just gonna tap the home button here. And now as I move around the screen, you'll see it's gonna show everything I'm doing on the TV. Now this will uh, support portrait and landscape. So if I open an app that allows me to rotate the phone in the landscape position, um, it will rotate with me. So for example, I can turn the phone like this and now you'll see it'll show in the full screen. 
So that's just an FYI. And at this point, you can do anything. You can um, open up an app that you'd like to play. You can uh, show pictures or videos from a trip, whatever. Just know that everything you're doing on the phone is gonna show up on the TV. Now, when you're finished with this setup and you'd like to turn off it from mirroring, you're gonna swipe down from the top of the screen and here you'll see an option that says cast and then under it'll say casting screen to the right there is a little uh microphone and arrow we're going to tap i know it's kind of hard to see tap on the arrow and tap disconnect and that's going to stop the phone from mirroring your screen to the tv so that's how to mirror your screen next we're going to go over how do i just play a video in fact from youtube or netflix or hulu how do i just play that on the TV. So I'm gonna go to YouTube here. Let's find our YouTube app. And I'm gonna demonstrate that easy process. It's, it's super easy for a video that's on the phone or on an app. So let's go to YouTube and let's find a video to play. And we'll find one of my great videos here. Let's say I wanna play um, this video here. So the video has started to play. What I'm gonna do is pause it first. And at the top of the video here, you can see there's this little icon. This is your cast icon. Tap on that icon. And I'm gonna tap Chromecast 6871. And that will begin connecting to the device. And you'll see on the TV, you'll see, um, YouTube is loading and the video should begin to play. Now you can control the volume from the phone. So as you raise the volume up and down on the phone, it will control the TV volume. So that's cool. Now guess what? The best part about this is I can now hit the home button. That video is gonna keep playing on the screen. And guess what? I can now do whatever I want on the phone. I can go to my text messages and I can have my text conversation going. I can do other things on the phone because I've really just sent the video to the TV using the Chromecast, but my phone is still fully operational. And that's why this is my favorite way to kind of mirror a video. I, I don't wanna mirror the whole screen because I wanna be able to use my phone while I'm watching the video. So anyway, video is playing. Your phone is still fully operational. At this point, if I wanna stop the video from playing, I'm gonna swipe down from the top of the screen and you will have a pop-up here that says, it shows you what video is playing. Now from here, I can pause the video and you can actually swipe down with two fingers to get more menu options. So again, two fingers, I just swipe down. I can fast forward the video by moving this little white dot here. Maybe I wanna to move to a different part of the video. I can just fast forward, keep going. And when you're finished, we're gonna tap on the X right here, and this will stop the phone from mirroring or uh, from sending the video altogether. So you have full control of the video from your phone, even though it's not fully mirroring. If that was helpful, make sure you hit that like button right now. Show us some love for uh, showing off this cool tip. Now, I wanna go back and show this process one more time. Um, so let's go back to YouTube. Because if you have other devices, the process is gonna be exactly the same. And I just wanna show you how it's gonna look a little different. Now, one important thing to note is um, obviously I'm demonstrating this process using uh, the YouTube app, but it's gonna work the same in just about all your video apps. So whether you're opening Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, when your video is about to play, you'll just need to look for that little cast icon because that icon is basically what um, you're gonna use to interact with the, the streaming device in your TV. So um, I showed you first how to do it with a Chromecast. Now, really the process is the same for the other three devices here. So I'm just gonna tap on the screen here and tap on that little cast icon. And what you're gonna see are all the available devices. Now at this moment in time, um, I have the Chromecast hooked up. We already walked through how to do it with that device. This is my Samsung TV. 
So guess what? If you have a smart TV and you have it connected with your Wi-Fi, as long as that's set up, you should see it as a device here, as an option to cast to the TV. So right now I'm just gonna tap on my Samsung device here. And if we give it a second, you'll see it's gonna change. YouTube is gonna pop up on the screen. And guess what? Now I'm gonna be able to play that video on the TV using the Chromecast. Just make sure I hit this continue as A1. But there it is. My video is now playing on the TV. And um, I can now hit the home button here. And again, I can do other things on my phone while it's playing on the TV. I have those same options to pause. So here's the thing. If you have a Fire Stick TV, or if you have a, um, a Roku, the process is exactly the same. The only difference is that what's gonna pop up when you get to that menu, um, it's gonna say Fire Stick TV, or it's gonna say Roku. So right now, this list right here is gonna have your Roku or it'll have Fire Stick TV. That's the only difference. So that's how you would connect to your other devices. Now, one last important thing to note, um, this phone does not support Smart View. So unfortunately, those of you that have used previous Samsung phones and, and have used Smart View, you know that Smart View allows you to mirror your screen to a Smart TV or to a Roku device, but this phone does not have that functionality built into the software. So that's why we have to use these other means to mirror the screen to the TV. So I wanted to make sure I covered that because some of you are aware of that. You probably came to this video trying to figure out how to use the smart view feature. Well, it's not available on this phone. So it's unfortunate, but Samsung just didn't build it into this phone software build. So it is what it is, but I hope what I showed was helpful. And again, my goal was to show the entire process from beginning to end, how to mirror your screen to the TV um, using your different streaming devices. So that's our video. Do me a favor, if this was helpful, if it answered your question or it taught you something new, take a minute and hit that like button. That helps us so much so we can continue to grow our channel. Can you also leave a comment down below if the video was helpful? I always love to hear from you guys just to know if the video is covering the important topics that you are looking for. So please make sure you do that. Um, if you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care and as always, have a good one.